Hi, my name is Lorena Rodriguez and I teach economics at Collin. Um, in teaching my students about doing research, I usually focus on um, doing the kind of research that they need uh, data for in order to illustrate or um, prove their points that they're trying to make on their papers. And this goes for our class uh, together and beyond in the social sciences, particularly economics. Um, and so I try to teach them how to do the kind of research where you can have a paper like what you see in front of you, where there's data in the form of different kinds of graphs, sometimes tables. And so we talk about uh, credible data sources, and I run them through uh, the some of the most important uh, credible data sources in the U.S. and even uh, internationally and what kinds of data to expect, as you can see on the screen. But then we also talk a little bit about honesty and being careful. And sometimes you can be dishonest uh, accidentally by not being careful. And so when it comes to data and doing research to illustrate any kind of point you're trying to make, a good example I use for my students is the federal minimum wage because they can usually relate to it. And I say, if you're doing some kind of research regarding the federal minimum wage and you present um, only the data that's illustrated on the blue line here, where it shows that over time it's been going up, depending what the point you're trying to make is, you might actually be dishonest. And so the line uh, in red here actually illustrates the purchasing power uh, or what economists call the real value of that uh, in, uh, federal minimum wage. So what that line is saying instead is that that value has fluctuated over time hitting its highest purchasing power in 68 and going down from there pretty consistently and so again we talk about where to find good data how to know whether that data is good and then how to find the right data for the right point you're trying to make in your research